people and welcome to the Football Euros Quiz and today we're joined by Leah Ravel. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How are you? Not bad at all. I think this Euros Quiz will be interesting for you because obviously you're technically a North American but you live in South America. How much Euros have you watched in your time? Two, three, not as many as World Cup. For sure not as many as World Cup. Me being in Europe, I'll watch it all the time but for you it's probably not even on channels over there and stuff like that. So Football is not even really on the channels. The World Cup is on like cable when we had cable. Like people don't really have cable anymore. People have like Netflix and all that everything like subscriptions well, luckily most of these questions aren't to do with the euros and uh, they are just football in general scotland picked up their first point of euro 2024 last night against switzerland they almost broke a record last night as well if the goal was given as an own goal it would have been their all-time scorer at european championship history but obviously it's gone down as McTominay now, so fair play to him. If they do beat Hungary, they can go through to the next round, of course, and get into the knockout. So hopefully they can do that. Um, and if you don't want to miss any of the action, make sure you do check out today's sponsor, Proton VPN. Really good service, obviously. It prevents all those hackers and all that stuff, you know, geo restrictions, preventing you from watching any of the games if you are going to go on holiday or will be on holiday at any point during the Euros. With over 5,000 servers in 91 different countries, you'll be covered no matter where you go. And of course, it is trusted by over 100 million people. So make sure you do check them out. Their link is down below. Of course, you can get one month free if you get a 12 month plan. And if you get a 24 month plan, you get three months free. So a really good offer. Make sure you do check them out. Their link is down below. So yeah, let's dive into the first question, which is Euros related to be fair, but it's quite a nice question. Who is? the all-time top goal scorer in the European Championships. So this is combined different competitions, you know, in, in the entire history. Is it Alan Shearer, Michel Platini, Cristiano Ronaldo, or Antoine Griezmann? Ooh, listen, let me use logic here. Alan Shearer, does he still have the record or, or did Harry Kane beat him? Still as the Premier League. Cristiano Ronaldo is Cristiano Ronaldo. He's played a few Euros, won a Euros. Griezmann, you threw Griezmann in there to either throw me off or Griezmann's the answer. Ronaldo has all the other records. Yeah. I'm gonna to follow my heart and go with Ronaldo. And Cristiano Ronaldo is the correct answer. Well done. E does have 14 goals in the competition. Number two is Michel Platini with nine. So he's actually got it by quite a bit as well. Where's Harry Kane on that list? Harry Kane's got four goals in 11 games in the Euros. It's not awful terrible. But if he gets like three or four in this one, then he gets up to like the top three. Yeah, true. Just the one point for that question. We'll take it. We'll take the point. Into round number two is Football Connect. So what I'm going to tell you is four different footballers and they've all played for the same similar club. Okay. So they, they all have one club in common. Okay. You get five points for the first player, one point for the last. And your first player is Paul Koncheski. I don't suppose you've ever heard of him. Nope. Take a random guess at any, any oh football God. club. Uh, Paul. With a name like Paul. Mm -hmm. Let's say Chelsea. It's not Chelsea. <laughs> see as the connection the next player is andros townsend everton it's not everton he did play for everton though townsend so good shout but then we will give you the journeyman that is peter crouch oh i should know oh he's played for a lot of clubs yes. so. townsend also played for palace didn't he? Yeah. So, yeah, if you can kind of find a similar club with Crouch and Townsend, that's the best way to uh, work it out. Palace? It's not Crystal Palace. And the there. final player is Jan Vertonghen. Tottenham? It is Tottenham Hotspur for one Yay. point. Well done. There you go. <laughs> you, when you said Chelsea, I was like, Jesus, you got really close into, <laughs> like, geographically. Imagine I said Tottenham the first time. That's what I mean. If you if you just smashed out the five points. <laughs> Well done for getting that in the end. Right, into the next round it is Yes the Footballer. So it's kind of the reverse. I'm going to tell you the clubs that the player has played for. It's one player that you're looking for. Okay. And we will start off with Albacete. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, no. Random footballer for Robert, uh, just anyone. Um, Nacho Fernandez. No, he played for Real Madrid the whole time. Oh my God. Thiago. I don't know. It's not Thiago. The next club is Levante. It has to be a Spanish player, of course. Coke. It's not Coke. We will then give you, oh, what should we give you next? Let's give you BSG. Is this in no particular order? So it's like least obvious club. La last club will be the most okay. obvious and like most associated with the player. Okay. Definitely Spanish. Let me see. PSG. Soler. But it's not Carlos Soler. Not a bad show. We will then give you probably the smallest club in football, uh, Nottingham Forest. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Nottingham Forest. Yeah. And PSG. What a fall from grace that is, eh? <laughs> Spanish PSG. I know there are like five 
at the top of my head that I just can't think of the names. I don't know. Asensio. That's just a name to not move to the next round. Because I... mm. And the final club is actually Real Madrid. I figured it would be. Yeah. Real Madrid, PSG, Nottingham Forest, Levante, and Albacete. It's all five clubs. And PSG, uh, Real Madrid is the most obvious. That's the club he's played the most games for hmm. in his career. Uh, what's the uh, the era here? Current. Current player. Playing for Real Madrid currently. Yeah. Not currently Real Madrid, but one of the previous clubs I've mentioned. Give me a hint. Give me a hint. Give me a hint. He's not Spanish. I'll give you that as a hint. I knew it. I think it is a Spanish-speaking country. Ooh, that's a good hint. You'll be kicking yourself when I tell you who this is. Oh my God, I know who it is. Yeah? It's Mariano Diaz. No, it's not. He didn't play for PSG. He didn't. No, no, he's not the player uh, we're looking for. Uh, the player we're looking for is a goalkeeper. Kaylor Navas, I want to die. <laughs> I want to die. Yeah. Oh my God, Luke, this I this... want to die. It's so obvious. I mean, to be fair, the, the last three should really give it you. Yeah. yeah. The early clubs of like Levante and Albacete, they don't really help. No, you. they didn't help. I'm hoping he gets a move in the summer to uh, play some games. Agreed. It's quite sad that he's just behind yeah, Donnarumma. No, it's crazy because much, how do you but... go from winning three Champions Leagues to PSG and then them signing Donnarumma immediately and then just going to Nottingham also and then not mm -hmm. playing like he's just not played for two yeah. or three years you know like he's so good too that's the thing he re retired from the national team also I think yeah I mean he's rejected a transfer offer from Al Hilal has he yeah good for him yeah I like I like that right then into the next round it is tic tac toe you do get one point for each correct answer on the grid what would you like to start with as your first choice okay let's do Club Real Madrid we will then go let's say Tottenham Spurs okay let's go Champions League. Champions League winner. I will go, yeah, Juventus. Hmm, interesting. Let's go. We can do Nation as well. Yeah, Nation. Brazil. I'll end off with anyone to play in the MLS. What do you want to start with? Champions League winner, Juventus, Cristiano Ronaldo. Buffon never won it, sadly. That is sad, actually, for him. Then we will go MLS Brazilian, Douglas Costa. They fell like Galaxy. Mm hmm, that's a good one. Okay, Real Madrid, Spurs. Let's go, Gareth Bale. Very nice. I will go Brazilian at Spurs. Um, oh, so many over the years. I'll go Jorelio Gomez, the goalkeeper. Okay. Played for Watford as well. Okay, let's go Juventus, Brazil, Danilo. Juventus, uh, Real Madrid. And you've taken Ronaldo off me. I have. And you've taken Danilo, actually. I have. Who shall we say? We'll say Alvaro Morata. Let's go Champions League winner, Spurs, Luka Modric. There you go. I'm trying to think of anyone else that might have won it. Al Walker for City. Mm, yeah. MLS Champions League winner. Let's say Frank Lampard. And MLS and from Madrid. Let's do Chicharito. There we go. Mentioned him earlier. And uh, there you go. I think there's not actually that many Real Madrid and uh, MLS, to be fair. No. Beckham, Chicha. Yeah, there's not that many. Anyway, you do get one, two, three, four, five points for that round. So that's very nice indeed. Right then into the next round. It is football bingo. Obviously, each bingo answer on the board is a point. And we will start your timer if you are ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Three, two, one. David Brooks. He's Welsh, isn't he? Pass. Yep. Uh, Gianluigi Donnarumma. Italian. Yep. Luka Jovic. <laughs> what Shut a player. Uh, uh, teammate Tim Ryan wasn't there. Italian pass. Oh, did they win? Mm, no, pass. Miroslav Closer. German. Yep. Uh, Freddy Canute. Pass. Alessandro Nesta. Oh. Italian Todd Division winner for sure, no? Yep. Uh, Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Di Lorenzo, Di Lorenzo, Di Lorenzo. Pass. Ah! Euros winner! Yes. Pass. That's fine, okay. Yeah, actually, yeah, he, pro he probably did yeah, win Euros. Uh, Gary Neville. Gary Neville, Manchester United. Yep. Patrick Cliver. Uh, Dutch. Yep. Uh, Timo Werner. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, pass. Lucas Paqueta. Uh, Timo Werner. Copa America win. I don't know if he was on the team. I'll have a check yeah. at that. That's not a bad shout. Um... Sander Burge. It pass. Uh, Christian Vieri. 
very, very, very pass. Ah, uh, Euros again! Damn it! Uh, Paul Skulls. I don't think it's yours. I think it's something else. Um, Skulls. Uh, Lauren Blanc. I don't know where he played. Monaco, maybe, but pass. Daniel Marlin. Uh, pass. Yeah. Uh, Neko Williams. Pass. Stefan Effenberg. Oh, pass. Dennis Zachariah. Uh, don't know where it came from. Would you go back now, but pass. Yeah. Uh, Babetto. Brazil. Pass. Roberto Carlos. Maybe yeah, um, pass. Alan Shearer. Newcastle. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Sammy Hippier. Pass. Rui Patricio. Who? Rui Patricio, the goalkeeper. Euros. Portugal, no? Yep. Yeah, he did. Uh, Gilson Martins. Uh, Monaco, 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 Monaco. 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 There you go, just in time. Ah! So I just need to check Quetta, but that's actually a pretty good score. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. So weirdly, Lucas Paqueta might have a Copper America because the way Brazil choose the Brazil team for the Copper America, it's almost like a B team Brazil. Yeah. So they won't choose like the best Brazilians. Yeah. They'll choose like random bits and bobs. They haven't um, won. There has been like several Copa Americas, but I think Argentina might have won. They won the last one, but they might have won the one before also. He did win it he in 2019. Did? Lucas Paqueta. There you go. Yes. What a player. And he might be getting banned from football yeah because of some seven pound bets unlucky we'll see we will see right into the next round is football stat attack so what you need to do for this round basically take a random well it's not random you can do a calculator guess of the number of appearances a player has made for a certain club and the player i've chosen is tony cruz what i'd like to name me how many real madrid appearances a lot can calculate for you if you need a calculator i'm trying to think he definitely just held up a t-shirt did he yeah. actually with the number of yeah. appearances with if he's if he's done that then well done <laughs> with florentino perez he has actually i can see the yeah. picture yeah appearances in all competitions in all competitions yeah just work it out in terms of years how many years was he there ten. Then... so 10 years exactly 10, 10 seasons. seasons exactly how many matches in a season how many games 35 a season. in la liga 38 ish mm -hmm. let's round it to 40 40 times 10 400 alone and only la liga then if you factor in all the champion league games we've had we go to the at least the semi-final almost every year it has to be a thousand let's say 15 15 times 10 150 let's go 650 650 appearances you've gone for he actually has 465 total really yeah he's actually got a few if you look at his career here not full la liga seasons you got like 28 27 but on average about 42 43 a season Huh. Then you just times that by 10. Oh, close enough. Into the final round and your tenable category. You get 10 points potentially. And what I'd like to name me are 10 Real Madrid managers. Ooh, okay. I think I could do this. Paolo Ancelotti. There we go. Zinedine. He's tenable. Two stints at the club, of course. Yes, two very important stints. Um, Zinedine mm -hmm. Zidane, also two stints. Two stints, yeah. They just seem to keep coming back. <laughs> I was going to give you the, the very last 10, so the, the exact 10 people. I don't know if that's fair or not, though. I might be Obviously, able to do that. Two are the last two. Do you want to go to the last 10, then? Yeah. Just a little bit more. Let's do that. Yeah. Um. Okay, so... Lopetegui. Lopetegui, new West Brom, uh, not West Brom, uh, West Ham manager. <laughs> He's uh, tenable, of course. Uh, Santiago Solari. That is a good one to remember. Well done. Thank you. Shout out to those I, two. I probably wouldn't have. No? I wouldn't have remembered him, to be honest, Solari. It was really Weirdly. short. I can remember Lopetegui because of the drama. Yeah. Lopetegui did half the amount of games. Yeah. But the th those two, Solari and Lopetegui, gave all the youngsters minutes. Because Zidane, bless him, mm -hmm. obviously, one of the best managers in the world, but he's very, like, favoritist like he doesn't he didn't really give a lot yeah. of minutes to the youth players but 
Solari and um, Lopetegui did. Um, okay, so Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho, the special one, is uh, terrible. La Liga title, Copa del Rey. Legend. Let's do Rafa Benitez. There we go. <laughs> um, he only actually lost three games with Real Madrid. Yeah. And he got the sack. Can't That's, stand him. You know, a little bit harsh. Four more. Four to go. I don't know. These, these four. I think you get at least two of these. One's managed in the Premier League. I'll give you that as a clue. Ah, uh, Pellegrini. There we go. Yeah, mm -hmm. Manuel Pellegrini is tenable. Obviously, another former West West Ham and Real Madrid connections. Mm -hmm. You know, they're just all over the place. <laughs> yeah, mm. oddly. And not Carlo Ancelotti managing Everton also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another brilliant one. <laughs> so random. Three more. And the last three are all different nationalities. I'll give you that. And in what years? 06 to 09, basically. That's the era. Mm. Are they still managing now? They've not managed for the last five years, any of them. Will I know? One, you'll definitely know. No, he's a big manager. Right. Two of them would, won La Liga titles. One of them didn't. Weirdly, the ones that won La Liga titles had a less win percentage than the one that didn't win. Uh -huh. Which is quite funny. Yeah, I've got three lives if you want to take any stabs in the dark. All right, let me take a stab. I think it's a 0% chance, but in my head, no, I'm not going to say that because it's very obviously not. I think if we did like all time Real Madrid managers, you could like throw in a Del Bosque or something. Hmm. He did well. Hmm. Is it Italian? Take a stab at an Italian manager if you want. The only other Italian manager I can think of is Gattuso, but I don't think that's right. For the early 2000s. Yeah. When, he, when, he when he's playing. Still be playing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gattuso and Zari. And they all were playing. No, I, the Italian I, one is the best one. Like He's the most likely one you'll get out of these last three as well. I think the other two, not the most well-known. No, I give up. Uh, he managed internationally, the Italian did, for England. Oh. Two states at Real Madrid. It's Fabio Capello. Oh. Won the La Liga then. One day Ramos, who managed Spurs, oh. um, is also another manager you're looking for. Okay. And then final one was Bernd, Bernd Schuster. Oh, no, 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 impossible. Fair play if you would have got those. But uh, to get the seven, that's pretty good anyway. So that does... Uh, wrap up the episode and your score is 23 on the leaderboard so mm. pretty good I think anything, anything over 20 is pretty good to be fair okay. hopefully that keeps you hopefully mid-table we'll see don't think you'll be at the top because we've had we've had some higher scores it was the Taylor Navis one that killed me yeah yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy today's episode make sure you do drop a like if you did enjoy check out Leah drop her a follow and all that good stuff and we'll catch you all tomorrow bye